Hi, my name is Me Too Win. I'm a student at UC Berkeley. This is my 10th YouTube video assignment for IUR 190G, which is a patent engineering course at UC Berkeley. Um, in this video, I'll be straying a little from the smartphone patent war and be discussing a very silly and pretty ridiculous patent. And I'll be discussing prior art and um, validity and other patent things. So the patent I'll be discussing today is called Frameless Glasses Attaching to Piercing Studs. This is US Patent 6557994. Um, the inventor is John Rose from Susanville, California. Um, this patent was filed in 2002 and published in 2003. And so this Pen is very much what the um, title sounds like. Um, so you have these studs um, that are basically piercings um, near your eye area, and then you have um, frameless glasses that um, hook on to those studs um, in order to. Uh, create a frameless uh, sunglasses, I guess. Um, and so, um, the point of this patent is to be able to have this glassware um, without the need of side wire earpieces um, for the person. So first I want to determine whether this patent is um, valid. So if we look at the prior art, um, we can consider eye piercings or sunglasses. And both of these have patents that were filed before, um, more than a year before uh, 2004, which is um, actually 2003, which is the filing date. So um, from that, we can deduce that however ridiculous this patent is, it is a valid patent. Um, if we look through all possible prior art, even though these two um, come to mind very easily, um, there is also another patent called Shade Attachment for Goggles, which was filed in 1927 and issued in 1930. And so this patent is basically like sunglasses, except for the side. Um, Instead of the wire framing, um, there's a clamp system um, that allows you to tighten or loosen your glasses and also keep it onto your head. Um, so there's already another patent that um, offers a different way of attaching the sunglasses to your face. Um, so in that way, um, it can be considered very strong prior art for um, this patent. Um, because of this, um, we can consider that it would be obvious um, to try this. Um, so if you consider that there's already other people who have tried to find alternate ways to attach sunglasses to your face, um, and you have uh, frameless sunglasses as well as piercings, um, it would be a natural deduction to put the two together. Um, so you can uh, argue that this patent is obvious. The patent also um, describes in detail how to install the body piercings as well as how to attach the frames to um, the piercings. Um, so it explains exactly how you're able to do this. Um, so that this patent um, does have patent enablement. Um, as for common sense, I think that would be suggest very um, subjective, but I would consider the common sense very iffy. 
So that's it. Thanks for listening.